Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Liz and today we're going to be talking all about warm toned eyeshadow palettes. I happen to have 15 here so I thought I'd divide them like five best, five worst, and five in between. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Before we get into it, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I post videos at least three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and a lot of bonus videos in between as well. I would also love for you to turn your notification bell on so that you don't miss any of my videos. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy this type of video. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first eyeshadow palette I want to talk about is what, in my opinion, started the whole warm toned eyeshadow palette craze. It is not the modern renaissance, although I am going to be talking about that in a second. It's actually the Too Faced Sweet Peach eyeshadow palette. Do you guys remember when this came out? It came out first, it was limited edition. I remember my husband, who was my fiance at that time, ordering it for me and it was so exciting and it sold out really fast and they restocked it and then they came out with all these other peach products after it as we know but this I feel like it was just what everyone was craving when it came out everyone was just like yes this is what we want these are the shadows that we need and it was just it was a huge hit this palette is in my top five I absolutely love this palette still to this day and I do feel like compared to a lot of other of the warm tone palettes this one is pretty unique. I think they did a really good job of adding in the right amount of mattes and shimmers. There are some really perfect shimmers in here that are more almost more on the neutral side than the warm tone side. I like that they have this green toned one in here and a couple of purple toned ones. This charmed I'm sure one is kind of a satiny matte finish and then they have these really pretty warm just so much fun fun shades in there. Uh, Nectar is one of my all-time favorite shades. I'm wearing that on my brow bone today. I'm wearing lots of different shadows from different palettes today on my eyes but I do love Nectar for a brow bone highlight and also a face highlight. It's such a pretty shade. They should come out with a highlighter of this because I would buy it. So if by chance you don't already own this palette, I definitely do recommend it. This one is fantastic. Mine is actually kind of crooked. I don't know if you can tell because I traveled with it a bunch and it got bent during travel so it happens. Next I have to mention the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is another one that really fueled the warm tone trend I think and this one is very different from the Sweet Peach. I tried to pick all of the ones that are in my top five to be pretty different from each other so if you did want to buy all five of them you wouldn't have like five of the same thing you know you'd have a variety. But this is another really popular palette. Everybody loves this. This is mostly a matte palette really if you think about it but they added the right kinds of shimmers to really get um, a variety of looks. I love this matte orange. I love that they have this dusty rose shade because that can really take you to the super warm orangey side of things or the super mauve purpley pink side of things. So really you can get such a variety of looks just having those shades and then you have all of your your bright juicy berry tones here and some more of the warm deeper like it's deeper red and then these two neutral shades can be transitions can be uh, crease shades that type of thing golden ochre is a really fun sort of muted dusty mustard color and then tempera makes a good brow bone highlight i also think primavera makes a good brow bone highlight inner corner highlight for my skin tone vermeer is another shimmer that makes a nice highlight or just all over the lid and if you combine antique bronze with any of these shimmer shades you can get a really fun combination of like a shimmery look for the lid i just really enjoy this palette and i feel like you can just literally get endless looks from this if you go on pinterest and type in the modern renaissance there is so many different types of looks that you will see with this palette just from like grunge to glam to everyday to going out and fancy and i mean for valentine's day this would be a good one this is just a really good palette all around for everybody if you're looking for like an everyday palette this is fantastic again you guys probably already know but if you don't by chance own this one already i definitely do recommend it Next one I'm going to talk about is a newer one in my collection. This is the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes Eyeshadow Palette. This is a palette that like I almost didn't want to love this because I feel like they're kind of beating that peach theme to death and I also don't like the smell of this palette at all, but the quality of shadows and the shade selection is amazing. These shadows are so vibrant. This shade right here especially, I don't have anything like this shade in any of my other warm toned palettes. The pigmentation that it carries is so impressive. Peach Punch and Peach Sangria are my two favorite shades in this palette, but really they're all amazing. I love that they're 
lighter shades here. They have a yellow toned one, peach meringue, and then a more pink beige toned one, peach butter, and then this peaches and cream. I mean, really, this is the perfect matte warm tone palette. I think all of the shades in here are fantastic, really good quality, and I'm actually gonna compare this one to the next one I'm gonna talk about because there are some dupes in the next one. The shadows last so well on the eyes also, I just really love this one. So the next one I want to talk about is by ColourPop, and this is the Yes Please palette. This is what it looks like here, and there are actually four shades in here that are, I would call them dupes for shades in here. So looking at the palettes, they're very different tones. There's more orangey and yellow and gold in this one, and a lot more of the pink and peach in this one, but this shade and this one are very similar. This one and this one are very similar. These two right here are very, very similar. And then this one and this one down here are very, very similar. They're similar in the sense they're not exactly the same, but they are, they perform pretty much the same on the eyes. So again, this one, it's in my top five, obviously. I really love it. I like this one because it's a little bit different for a warm tone palette. It's not even like a warm tone neutral palette. It's more of like a warm tone colorful palette, if that makes sense. It's got like a bright yellow, bright orange, really, really bright orangey shades, and then these really pretty shimmers, like this awesome orangey. It's almost got like two tones of orange in it in this one. It's almost like a duochrome of like a bright yellow orange and like a rustier orange, and then this really beautiful gold. I'm wearing both of these on my lid today, and this one packed on the inner corner. I feel like it just looks so amazing. And then we have these other two shimmers here. So this one has four shimmers and eight mattes. The mattes are really fantastic in this palette too. I love the shade selection. I love the way that they blend together. As you guys know, I love ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. I compared all of the ColourPop eyeshadow palettes that I own. Well, I own all of them. Anyways, I compared them in a video recently. I'll link that below if you haven't seen that, but I love ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. They're amazing. This one is a fantastic warm toned eyeshadow palette. The last one in my top five, it was hard to choose if I wanted to choose this one because there are some things I don't like about it, but I realized overall for the price and the quality and the colors that you get, I have to choose it, and that is the Morphe 3502 eyeshadow palette. I do feel like there are a lot of shades in this palette that are similar to each other, and I think that's why I was hesitant to include it. But there are some really, really beautiful shades in here, and when it comes to all of the other Morphe palettes that I have that are warm toned, I'll talk about later, this is the best formula. This is their newest formula, and it is better than the 350. It is better than the 350 matte. It is the best formula so far. The shimmers and the mattes are both improved in my opinion. I like this palette because you have a really nice range of colors, not as light as I would have liked, but this gold is so beautiful and this, this one is beautiful. I mean, all of the matte shades are just really, really fun and pretty. And then you do have your black and your dark browns, your reddish browns, really nice selection of browns. Like you're gonna have all your browns that you pretty much need. Pretty much any Morphe palette you buy, you're gonna have all the browns you need. <laughs> That's just the way Morphe is. But then you also have these really pretty shimmery shades. You have this beautiful, bright, vibrant red, and then a matte red to go with it, a beautiful, vibrant orange, and a matte orange, a little bit deeper red. There's a lot of creative inspiration in this palette, in my opinion. I feel like you really can get a lot of looks out of it, and you can get a lot of ideas for looks just from looking at it. It has those rusty shades and some deeper shimmers, just really, really pretty. I love this palette. Again, I know not everyone's crazy about Morphe, but I personally feel like this is a fantastic palette, and I definitely would recommend it, especially if you are on a budget, if you're looking to get a bunch of good quality eyeshadows for a low price, this is a fantastic one. All right, so that's my top five eyeshadow palettes. Now let's go on to my five least favorite warm toned eyeshadow palettes. Not all of these are like horrible, like I hate them. There's one that I really don't like, but a lot of them are just like maybe for the price they're not worth it, or there's other things that I would recommend that you buy before these. So let's just start with the one that I really don't like, and that's the Tartlet Toasted palette. I feel like this palette is different from their other Tartlet palettes. And I own the Tartlet in Bloom and the original Tartlet palette, and I feel like the mattes in here are very, very different. Even from like the Tarte Holiday palettes, like Tarte matte shadows are, in my opinion, like 
known for being a harder formula. Like they're not powdery at all. They're known for just being really smooth and like a, a, a hard formula. If that, I hope that that makes sense. Like you put your brush in and it's almost like you don't see any powder on your brush until you're putting it on your lid and then you see the color show up. You know what I mean? It's not powdery. Like Lorac shadows are known for being very powdery. Tarte shadows are like on the opposite end of the spectrum in my opinion. But this palette is different. This palette is very powdery. The matte shadows are chalky. Like I feel like I, I put my brush in and I'm getting all kinds of like super dry powder flying around and it's just not what I'm used to with Tarte. There's only one shade that I really like and that is Flame right here. Simmer and Sunset are, are nice. They're not terrible. Sunrise I feel like it's like flaky. Like I feel like they're trying to be that pretty uh, gold, sort of peachy gold shade but it doesn't quite meet the mark. And Candle is just super chunky and not good. Not chunky in a good way, just too chunky, too much fallout. And then Crackle is, looks like it's gonna be really pretty. It's like this deep brown with tons of gold glitter in it. But as soon as you put it on your eye, the gold glitter disappears. And it's so frustrating because it looks like it's gonna be so pretty. And I feel like that happens with a lot of other brands too when they infuse a matte shadow with glitter. The glitter just doesn't show up. And I don't know why they keep doing that if it's not gonna show up, you know? But anyways. I know people do love this palette and I don't know if I got a bad one. I hate to say that because I don't feel like that should be the case. You know, there shouldn't be like bad batches. I do like the packaging. It does smell really good, but that's about it. I can't recommend this palette. I don't really like it. Just my opinion. All right, the next palette I have is from Milani. This is their Earthy Elements Everyday Eyes Eyeshadow Palette Collection. And I just pulled this one out. I own four or five of their Everyday Eyes eyeshadow palettes, and I just wanted to mention this one. It's not horrible, but I feel like for the price, it's not as good as other ones that you can get. If you're gonna buy a drugstore warm toned eyeshadow palette, if you're looking for the perfect one, I would recommend e.l.f., I would recommend even like Morphe. I know that one's on the higher end of the price range. You're only getting six shadows for the price, and all of the other drugstore ones that I'm gonna talk about you get more for your money. So I just don't think this one is quite worth it. I don't think it's horrible, like the performance isn't bad, but it's not good enough that it's worth the price. I think you can get better out there. I also don't feel like the shadows are, like these two are really, really pretty. This one is really pretty, but then this one is very similar to this one, and this one is pretty similar to this one too. So there's just not, it's just not worth the price to me, even though I know the price isn't $50, but it's still, it's still not worth it to me. Next one I have is really fun packaging. This is by Makeup Revolution. It's their hashtag slay palette. It opens like this though, which is kind of kind of trips me out sometimes. So again, they tried with the warm tones. You can tell that they tried, but again, I feel like these warm orangey ones are too similar. Once you get them on the lid, they all blend together and look the same. I'm not crazy about the formula of these either. I don't feel like they're the softest, creamiest mattes out there. Again, I know our standard for drugstore and affordable eyeshadows is continually rising because brands like ColourPop and Morphe, etc., and e.l.f. even are really just upping the bar for what we expect from an inexpensive eyeshadow palette. This doesn't quite meet the mark in my opinion. There's only three, really two shimmers in this palette. I guess this one is kind of a shimmer too. These two are very, very similar. Again, they're gonna blend together and be very similar on the lid. And they don't pack a lot of shimmery punch, you know? They're just kind of blah when they get on the lid. Again, this isn't like terrible, horrible, but I think there's a lot better out there. I think this just doesn't quite meet my expectations as, as a makeup product that I would recommend, so I would not recommend this one. This next one I found in my collection and I pulled it out because it's warm toned, although it's not one that people are really talking about that much anymore, but this is by e.l.f. and it is their Prism Eyeshadow Palette. This palette looks so beautiful, doesn't it? I mean, I'm looking at it and like falling in love just by looking at it because the shadows look so vibrant, and metallic, and just beautiful shades and the name Sunset is perfect because it looks like a sunset. But when you swatch them and when you wear them on your eyes, they just, they're just very blah. Like they don't pack that metallic punch that you would think that they would. And I've seen people rave about these palettes and say that they're good, but I just don't think that this one that I have is good. I, it doesn't impress me. If you want those metallic punch shadows, get the ColourPop palette, get the Morphe palette, you know, or Too Faced or Anastasia Beverly Hills. Those ones are gonna be better. These one, this one just doesn't, it's just not worth it to me. It doesn't, even with like a setting spray, it just doesn't reach my expectations. 
So unfortunately, this one was a fail. Okay, the last one I'm gonna talk about in my five least favorite warm toned eyeshadow palettes is the Morphe 350M. So this is the matte version of the 350 and the only reason I'm putting this in my least favorite is because I don't feel like I need this in my collection. I have the 3502 and the 350 and everything else that I have. I don't feel like this one carries that many different original shades to be worth having. I do think it's a good palette, but again, Morphe has reformulated all of their eyeshadows and now in their newer palettes, they are better. And this one is the older one, so this one is just not as good. I would recommend the 350 original before I would recommend this one, and I would recommend the 3502 over both of those. So I just don't feel like this one is quite up to par with everything else. I don't even know if I've used this one more than like three times. All right, guys, we have five more shadows. This is These are my sort of runner runners up or not my least favorite. I don't hate them, I don't love them, but they're good. If you're still watching this video, kudos to you, you're awesome. All right, so the first one I wanna talk about is the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. This one is not bad, but it's not amazing. I think part of the reason why it's not in my favorite category is because it's just not that special to me and it's $54 and for $54 it's got to be really freaking special. It doesn't even have like a gold shade in here which surprises me because Urban Decay has some really pretty gold shades. They could have just thrown half baked in here and I would have been happy with that you know. But there's nothing really that interesting and the shimmers are all very very similar. They're different enough that they're gonna look different on the eyes, but you're not gonna be able to get that different of looks with this palette. It's a good palette. The shadows are good quality. I feel like they might even be a little bit better than their previous Naked palettes, which I do own all of those, but I just don't feel like it's worth the $54 price point if you're looking to buy one warm toned eyeshadow palette. I don't feel like this one is quite there. I do like the mattes though. I have to say they did a really good job with the matte shades. I like this palette. I'm using this a lot. I love that it comes with a brush. I love the packaging. It's really like nice sturdy packaging and really cool looking too. So, you know, I don't regret buying it. I'm going to hang on to it. I just wouldn't recommend you get this one first. Unless you look at the Naked Heat palette and you think these are the shades that I want. These are the only shades I'm ever going to use. Then go for it. You know, I'm not, I'm not here to tell you what to do. Like you got to use your own judgment, obviously. But it's just kind of, if you're looking for the most variety, I don't feel like that one is it and you're looking for the best value for your money, I don't feel like that one is it either. This next one was very close to coming into my favorites top five category, but it just didn't quite make the cut. This is the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. This is a really, really nice palette. If you're looking for a really affordable eyeshadow palette, this is a fantastic one. It's kind of like in my fine category because I just like those other five better, but this is a really great one. The shimmers are beautiful in here. It's got a nice variety of shades too. I feel like this would be like the one right, like number six. Like this is definitely really close to being a favorite. It's just the warm neutrals eyeshadow palette and really good quality shades, really, you know, travel friendly and an awesome variety in your 16 shades that you get in this palette. So this is a fantastic one also. This next one I have is sort of a muted version of the Just Peachy Mattes palette. This is by e.l.f. This is their Summer Breeze eyeshadow palette. This this is beautiful. Again, another one that I would definitely recommend you pick up if you're on a budget, if you're looking for these shades, these tones. They're just not quite as vibrant as I personally like. They're a little bit more muted and so that's why it's not in my favorites. I feel like I like the vibrancy of the Just Peachy Mattes palette better, but this one is really beautiful and it's really good quality. And again, you have a really nice range. If you're looking for just matte shadows or you're looking for like an everyday palette, this might be it, but just keep in mind this doesn't have any shimmers. If you want more of the shimmers, maybe go for for the next one or again like the color pop or something like that but this is a very nice one I already kind of touched on this but this is the morphe 350 original one this one's got a lot of love for me I do enjoy this one quite a lot this is in my fine category because again it's just um, I think the 3502 is better so I would recommend that one. I feel like you can get pretty much everything you can get in this one. I also have a video comparing all of the Morphe palettes, not all of them, but like the most popular Morphe palettes. I'll link that below too if you haven't seen that. This one just kind of falls into the fine category because it's not excellent, but it is very nice. They've improved their formula, so I would recommend the 3502 over this one, but... This is a good one. Okay, and the last one I have to talk about is by BH Cosmetics. This is the Blushed Neutrals palette. And I almost didn't talk about this because I don't know if you consider this a warm tone palette. I do, but 
it's almost more like a pinky mauve palette, but it's definitely got those warm peachy tones in there too, and the corals. And this is beautiful. I actually bought this at Target. Target is carrying some BH Cosmetics now. You can always purchase this on the BH Cosmetics website too, of course. This palette is so beautiful, and I love that it leans more to the pink side of the warm tone. So you have your peachy shades, but then you have this like hot pink and these shades down here. And of course, you can wear these as blushes, you can wear them as highlighters, you can wear them as eyeshadows. I just think this is a really fun one. I think there are a few like browns, you get, you know, too many similar browns, but when you get into like the 20s and an eyeshadow palette has 20 shades or more, sometimes that just kind of tends to happen. So that's okay, but I love that you can use these as eyeshadows or blushes, just really pretty shades. Oh, I just love it. I love this palette. Um, again, it's not like my top, top favorite just because I love the other ones more, but this is a really good affordable one and I wanted to mention it just to kind of let you guys know that it's out there and I like it. Okay guys, that is everything for this video. That is all of my warm toned eyeshadow palettes. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You are amazing. I appreciate you very much. Let us know in the comment section what your favorite warm toned eyeshadow palette or palettes are. You know, if you have one, if you have more than one, just let us know what ones you reach for the most and how you feel about the warm eyeshadow palette trend. I really enjoy these palettes. I prefer, I lean more on like the pink mauve side of the warm tone palettes rather than the orangey side but i really like both of them if you're interested in the makeup i'm wearing on my face i always list everything in the description box so you can check it out down there if you have any questions let me know i'm always happy to answer your guys's questions and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it that helps other people find my channel thank you so much for watching again you guys i appreciate you so much and i'll talk to you again very soon